Base, thank you for tuning in. I seen something really cool and I wanted to try it myself. And it's a different way of actually soldering your wires and your lugs. And I was like, I got to show you guys. And the the idea that I got it from is 210 Designs. Guys, check them out. They do a whole bunch of fab and they do all your enclosures, custom made, man. Check them out. I will leave links in the description for you guys to check them out. And thank you if you're watching this. Thank you for giving me this great idea. And I really wanted to share it with my subscribers and my viewers. Best idea I've seen. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So we're at the table. I am trying to figure out if this is basically what I need here. So what I did, I ended up getting some thin piece of sheet metal. You'll see why I'm going to end up doing it later on. I got a pair of snips, a zero gauge wire, of course your lugs, a heat shrink, three inch clamp, vice grips, your solders. I went on and pre-cut these. You'll see why. Got me some screws and this little doodad. I don't know, but it's metal. Like I said, you'll see what I'm doing here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start off by cutting this piece of metal here. All right, guys, so what I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to put myself tapping screws in. Alright guys. So what I'm doing, I'm going to go ahead and put this thing on. And like I said, I don't know what this thing is. Uh, but I figured, heck, I can use it. Especially for this situation I'm doing. Also, another tool, another tool that I'm going to be using is a uh, heated blowtorch. And if I'm missing something, I'll let you know. <laughs> so now if everything's going to get kind of fun. I'm trying to remember everything I can from watching 210's designs. And I figured, you know, I want to share it. I want to share it with you guys. So this is what I'm doing. Uh, so basically, you put that there. I'll get a good close-up so you guys can see what I'm doing. Let's get it. All right, guys, so as you can tell, I put this actually up here. So make sure that this is in the back, okay? And then you'll close it. See? All right, let's get back into it. All right, guys, so I got everything put together for what I need. Uh, now it comes to your lug, you put it in there. And you tighten it down so now it's not going anywhere you take your pieces of soldering and you put it down in there 
I don't know exactly how many I need to kind of stuff. But I'm going to stuff enough. But you're going to come back behind it with some more soldering. So as we got the soldering in there, then we can actually go ahead and do our thug dizzle. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. So I kind of brought you down to my level. Um, I don't know if I can get this any closer. Maybe just a little bit. Let's see. New camera, guys. Let's see if I can get you zoomed in. Tilt it up. I love this camera. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so, go ahead and get my torch out. Gas is on. What you want to do, see, now this is why I got the metal here. Go ahead and heat this up. All right, so the solder is already starting to kind of do its thing. And what you need to go ahead and do is pop this down in there. Let it sit there for a little bit, guys. You know, solder. It has to cool down. Now you don't really got to hold it too much now. Just kind of let it do its thing. You know, like this would be obviously a pretty good opportunity to say, well, I'm going to go off and do something else, you know. And... Uh, Go ahead and let it sit there for a little bit. So back here, it's not going to be hot. So don't worry about it. It's only up here that you need to worry about. Uh, like I said, this is my first time doing it. So I'm like I said, I wanted to share this, guys, with you. And it seems like it's holding up really good. Oh, yeah, it's in there. It's in there. All right. Go ahead. Hit that clamp. There it is. All you got to do is knock off some of this stuff if you don't want it on there. But uh, definitely works. So what you do after that, go ahead and get your heat shrink. Throw it on up there. Sorry, I'm very particular with my heat shrink. I don't know why I'm like that. And there you have it guys. No crimping, just soldering. So, if you guys actually like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, big, I mean for real, big shout out to 210 Designs. Guys, you, you just saved me on a lot of different little things, man. Especially if you want your all your lugs to be soldered. So, give a good shout out to them. Uh, like I said, I will leave a link in the description for you guys. Also, their Instagram page. Um, they do so much stuff, man. Like, it's insane how much patience and time they put into their stuff. And it's beautiful work. So, definitely give them a shout out. 
So with that being said, guys, this concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, and we'll see you next time on the next video. So with that being said, peace. Let's get it on.